the American School of English International present Phrases You Should Know. Five very expressive phrasal verbs you should know. The Gold Edition. By now, you're well aware that phrasal verbs are one of the hardest parts of English to learn. With a simple change in preposition, the meaning of a noun phrase or verb phrase completely changes. I know this for a fact. My students really hate learning the prepositional phrases because you cannot literally translate them which causes an impediment in learning sometime. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to express ourselves. About the things we don't like, people we want to get away from or want them to get away from us. So this would be a really good one. It would be a very interesting one. That's why this is the gold edition, because it's chock full of golden ass phrases you'll never learn in your textbooks, only in real life situations. Golden ass means really good. Take notes. So, with that being said, Let's, let's do this. Number one. Back the f up. Back the f up. Meaning, move away or leave alone. Move away or leave alone. Sentence one. Back the f up out of my face. Back the f up out of my face. In other words, move away from me. Go away. So we usually this is really straightforward and really aggressive. If you really aren't in the mood for someone bothering you, or you want them to leave you alone and they're really, really close to you, you can say back the f up out of my face. You don't even have to use out of my face. You can just say back the f up. Back the f up. Good. Let's move on. Number two. Roll. Roll. Meaning, to go away or to leave. To go away or to leave. So, let's, let's, look, let's see how it's used in a sentence. Sentence one. I think I'm going to roll to the store. I think I'm going to roll to the store. In other words, I'm going to the store. I think I'm going to the store. So, we use roll to either to go... Um, to go to the store or somewhere, you could say, I think I'm going to roll, uh, I'm going to roll downtown. I think I'm going to roll to the department store. I mean, the same thing as saying, I think I'm going to go. So it's like a synonym. Okay, let's look at uh, sentence number two. Your attitude stinks. You need to roll. Your attitude stinks. You need to roll. So we put emphasis on need. You need to roll. Which also saying your attitude stinks, in other words. You're in a bad mood. Leave, please. You're in a bad mood. Leave, please. But instead of using leave, we're going to use something more expressive. You know? You need to roll. Your attitude stinks and you need to roll. Or just roll. You know, roll means to go. Roll. Okay. Come on, let's move on. We're going to move on. Number three. 
get gone, get gone, meaning to go away, go away. Sentence one, you have a fresh mouth, you need to get gone. You have a fresh mouth, you need to get gone, get gone, go away. In other words, you're saying some really bad things, you need to go. That's all you're saying when you say get gone means to go. Go away. You need to go. You need to get gone. Get gone. Good. Let's look at another uh, how else would you use it also. Let's go. Sentence two. You've been a thorn in my side. You need to get the hell on. You've been a thorn in my side. You need to get the hell on. Get the hell on is the same. These are like cousins. Get the hell on. It means to go away. So, in other words, you've been really bad company. You need to go. Get the hell on. Go. Go away. Good. So you can use that. Number four. Don't want to deal with it. Don't want to deal with it. Meaning... Not in, the, not in the mood for a situation. You're not feeling something. You, you just don't want to deal with it. So, let's look at uh, usage in the sentence. Look, you like to argue, and I, I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. So, you can substitute it for you or some object. Um, I don't want to deal with this situation. I don't want to deal with uh, her. I don't want to deal with my sister. I don't want to deal with this work. I don't want to deal with school. So you can use anything in the uh, as a as an object. In this case, I don't want to deal with you. You know, you just express yourself. Don't keep things on your chest. Just say what you feel. In other words, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you about this right now. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. Good, let's move on. Sentence two. The deadline to get those reports in is tomorrow. I don't want to deal with anything else at the moment. So you can use, I don't want to deal with anything else. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with her. I don't want to deal with anything else at the moment. So you can just say that. I don't want to deal with anything else right now. In other words... I'm done with anything else that is not about these reports. If it's not about the report about these reports, I'm not dealing with it. Okay? Good. Let's go on to number five. Alright, number fives. To raise up off. So we have a double preposition here. Up off. Raise up off. You you'll find a lot of these phrases, these very expressive phrases, have double prepositions. Get up off, raise up off, um, you know, and then the meaning, the meaning of raise up off means to leave or to go away or just to stop harassing me. Stop harassing me. Usually we use this when someone's harassing you or, um, you know, they're, they're, they're just bo really bothering you, you know. So here's used in a sentence. You keep sweating me. You troll me online. You just need to raise up off me. You need to raise up off me. Okay? And in other words, you keep harassing me, leave me alone. So raise up off means to leave me alone. Usually, raise up off uh, is a, usually it, it's in combination with raise up off these nuts. Raise up off these nuts. That's what you say. And, and you know, the person will get what you're saying though they'll, they'll, they'll understand what you're saying what you what you what you mean get it get away from me leave me alone raise up off these nuts okay let's look at sentence number two there you go actually sorry I forgot I included that raise up off these nuts a little bit it just means in other words stop bothering me give me a little peace raise up off these nuts that's all you say so if someone's constantly bothering you, harassing you, haranguing you, whatever, raise up off my nuts. Raise up off these nuts a little bit, okay? 
Well, maybe not a little bit, maybe just a lot, maybe just raise up off. Okay, so just remember, raise up off. Um, let's look at number six. And number six, here we go. Actually, we're supposed to do five, but I'm doing six today. I got. I just love this one. So, next one. How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Meaning, when things aren't going as planned for the person you're talking to, so it's almost like you know you you're pretty much you 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 you're poking them in the eye, like ha 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 ha. It's not working, is it? Ha ha ha. You know, so you're really laughing at them. Um, and using a sentence, you broke up with your girlfriend for that other lady. Now she's gonna leave you. <laughs> How's that working for you? So it's like you you you're poking fun at them. You know, you 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 LOLing them. Ha 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 ha. So in other words, things aren't going according to plan, eh? Not going according to what you thought they were gonna, how you thought that was it was gonna work out. It's not working out that way, is it? Ha ha ha. So that's what you're pretty much saying inside, okay? Let's go to our second sentence. You quit your job for this? How's that working out for you? You quit your job for this crappy other for this other crappy job? <laughs> how's that working out for you? Of course you're not gonna laugh at the person, but how's that working out for you is is laughing at them. <laughs> so in other words, you gave up a good job for something shitty. Sh you gave up a good job for something shitty. <laughs> You traded in sugar for sh okay? Good. So don't 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 forget those. Don't forget that. That was fun. Um, I got a little carried away, so I did six instead of five. Um, anyway, so today we learned some really colorful expressive phrases. Very colorful and expressive. Yes, they were. And remember, the English language is an expressive language. The culture is about getting stuff off your chest. Telling someone how you feel and not suffering in silence. Remember, not suffering in silence or dying from stress. You don't want to die from stress because you keep things hidden inside, locked inside, right? Not dying from stress is one way to express your dissatisfaction with a situation. If you don't like something, say something. Speak up. Why, why suffer in silence and die from stress? And then walk away from the situation saying, mm, I should have said something. I should have said something. No. Say it then and there. And you know what? Let's go over those words one more time just to hammer it home. We're going to hammer those words home so you don't forget. Ready? Back the f up. Back the f up. That's exactly how you say it. Back the f up. Roll. Roll. Get gone. Get gone. Don't want to deal with it. Don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with the situation. I don't want to deal with our relationship. I don't want to deal with anything. Okay. Raise up off. Usually these nuts. Raise up off me. Raise up off me. And then, ha ha ha. How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Ha ha ha. It's the same thing as saying ha 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 inside, of course. You don't wanna you don't wanna say you don't wanna ha 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 to someone's face, but you say, how's that working out for you? Ha ha ha. Okay. Thanks. And remember, constructive criticism is key to getting better and making quality videos. Let me know if there's something I can do to improve my lessons in the comment section below. By the way, hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.